Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm here with added Jack Bryden. Jack, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. Thank it's you. been a big week at Spurred On Towers, but most importantly, tomorrow, first game of the season, Everton versus Spurs, and this is our first match preview battle of the year. For those of you who didn't see it last year, basically what happens is the two of us, or whoever's presenting, will be uh, previewing the match by guessing what the score will be, who the scorers are, and also guessing what the scores will be from the other teams who we deem at this stage to be around us, which is kind of like the top six or seven from last season. And then, as it gets later into the season, we'll also be trying to work out from those predictions what the league table will be. For every uh, prediction you get right, you get a point, and then there's a league table between the presenters, and at the end of the season, we see who knows the most about football in general. Jack, are you good at predictions? No. Okay, good. Feeling confident then. Let's start <laughs> with... The prediction for the score, Everton versus Spurs tomorrow at Goodison Park. Jack Bryden, what do you think? I'm going for two all. Two and I'll all? tell High you for why. Game. I'll okay. tell you for why. We just beat into 6 1, so we are in a scoring mood. Yeah, confident. Um, but however, I think we have only. We've got back from Australia. We'll, they'll be sort of tired. It was a long flight, this, cobwebs. that, and the other. A few cobwebs, and we'll have a lot of confidence after the 6 1 win against Inter, so I think maybe that could work. Against us. A bit of complacency. Yes. Uh, and we haven't won against Everton since December 2012. Oh, lovely, lovely. Bit of a stat there for Is you. that the stat you're bringing in later uh, on as well? We've no, got it's not. One. I've got Ooh, another one. Full of stats. Interesting. Okay, so he's gone for two all. And let's ask, uh, well, no, let's go with me next. I've gone for a draw as well. I've gone for one all, and I'll tell you for why, Jack. <laughs> uh, because I, part of me, a big part of me, worries it might be one nil to Everton tomorrow. Like you said, I'm worried that there's a bit of complacency. Obviously, they've got a new manager, Ronald Koeman. He will be a lot more defensive. Don't forget how they played when they came to when he was manager of Southampton, end of last season. Came to White Hart Lane, played really well on the counter attack, and I wouldn't be surprised if at Goodison tomorrow he plays defensively, with uh, then trying to break on the counter attack with your Ross Barkley's. Yeah. I think Lukaku's unfit. I don't know if you knew uh, about that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's touch and there. go. I think. Um, so if he is unfit, then I know they've been playing Delafeu up front. Uh, in the preseason, which you'd like to think maybe um, Toby could deal with, but he is a good player, good deliverer of a football as well. Anyway, so I've got one all. I think we might concede first, but I do think we'll score, so that's why I've gone for that. Now, that brings us nicely on to the scorers. Mm -hmm. Who do you predict is going to score in your two all draw prediction? So for us, uh, I think Eric Lamella is going to bag one because he's been in form the last yeah. couple of games. Terrific preseason. Um, and Harry Kane because he's Harry Kane. Which would mean, if he does score tomorrow, of course he didn't score till about it was City. October. Eight, eight games in, wasn't it? Eight last games season. in last season. We need him, I think, to get an early one. Yeah, Settle him down, then he can score 50 this season. All right, and for 50. Everton? Uh, so, as you say, Lukaku might not be fit, but if he is fit, I see him getting a couple. If he isn't fit, then off the top of my head, I'm thinking either Lennon might chip in with another one like he did last season. Morales or Barkley. Okay, hold on. This so is where you need to make a choice because this is all the points. Are okay, you Lukaku's going, going to get two. Luka if he plays he's him. going for Lukaku too. Interesting. Okay, I've gone for Christian Eriksen for Spurs. Okay. Uh, I've got a sneaky feeling that it might be some kind of free kick from out wide that goes over everyone into the far corner. One of those ones. I don't know why. Like Just got a sneaky one. feeling. Yeah. And then um, for Everton, I've gone for for Jags. Phil Jagielka. Uh, set piece. We're not great defending set pieces. That is still that was still proven in pre-season. Um, so I feel if they're going to score, it might be from set piece. But anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, let's go on to team selection. You get a point for every player that you select who is actually in the team tomorrow. So what will the Spurs eleven be tomorrow for you, Jack Bryden? Uh, so we're going to start with Loris in goal, mm -hmm. Walker right back, Toby and Jan in the middle. And Rose on the left. Because we think Jan is fit. Yeah. Poch said in his pre-match that he has been training with the squad. But will it be too soon? Interesting. You've gone for him. Okay, good. Yeah, I've gone for him. And then Dyer, And then with Wanyama. Because obviously um, Dembele is not going to yeah, be there. Suspended. Uh, Lamella, Ali behind Kane and Eriksen. And then obviously Kane up front. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I'd say that that is the 11 that I was tempted to go for. I kind of feel it might be that. But I've made a few little changes on that. Because I... I'm trying to get into Pochettino's head. I'll tell you what I've done. Hugo Lloris in goal, obviously. Uh, Toby, uh, Carl Walker right back. Toby Alderweireld. Danny Rose left back. And I've gone for Kevin Vimmer centre back. I wonder whether Pochettino will think it might be a bit soon for Jan. Put him on the bench. He hasn't played, had any match action at all. Kevin Vimmer, I think, played in one of the early pre-season behind closed doors games. Maybe a couple of them. He's had a hamstring as well. I think it's too soon for Cameron Carter-Vickers. But I think he'll just think... 
Let's not throw Yan in too early, but I could be wrong, obviously. If I am, then you'll get a point more than me on that. Eric Dyer, and now I've gone for Ryan Mason with Eric Dyer. I think Pochettino will be saying to Mason, because he's played in every preseason game, I'm going to give you another chance. We're not going to throw our new signing in. I'm going to keep the team together, who've all played together before, and give Ryan Mason one more chance. I know the fans will probably be upset if that happens, but Pochettino has done that before, so that's what I've gone for. And then Lamella, Ali, Eriksson and Kane. Okay, we're going to go into some match day memories. I'm going to go first. Going to talk about, uh, I'm going to talk about the two from last year. Is that the same that you were going to talk about? Um, well, I haven't prepared any because well, I, that's asked, good. So that's, I asked him if that's I needed right. to prepare some memories. Absolutely. So good. No. So I'm going to talk about the two games against Everton last year. Nil-nil quite early in the season at home um, when, if you remember, Harry Kane hadn't scored by that point. Mm. He had a a one-on-one -on -one where he was pretty much the only one in their half and it was just one of those ones where you could see his cogs were turning he was thinking too much no he had too Harry, much time he had too he much time you know with Harry his instinct bang 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 yeah. he, he was worried about not having scored people getting on his back and that ended nil-nil I remember also in that one Tom Cleverley got a bad injury I think who was it Moussa, Moussa Dembele with a oh, scissor yes, tackle yeah, no, it was, uh, was it, it was Dembele yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, that's Up why I remember nil-nil yeah on the byline and then the away game I was at that game as well Deli Alley with his magnificent run off the, off the uh, right back Toby's Holman. ball, though. Toby Alderweireld's ball, chest down, volley, fantastic goal. One of his many goals of the season, but I'd put that in the top three of his goals, best goals last season, along with the Palace one, obviously, as West well. Brom. And the West Brom one from another Toby. They'll be looking to do that mm. again tomorrow, don't be surprised. Uh, and uh, uh, then it was that was the equaliser, of course, because Aaron Lennon put one in the top corner. It was typical, weren't us. it? Uh, you, you know. It was, it was written Hardly in the ever stars. done it for us. And then no, I mean, he was a great player for us, but he never, I don't remember him sticking one in the top bin for us, ever. He scored a goal against Chelsea. With his left foot yeah, that kind of went middle that middle corner. That was the first time we beat Chelsea, by the way, in years. That was great. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for a pre-match stat here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to you, Jack. What's your pre-match stat? I've got a couple. Oh, lovely. So um, the reason I put this in is because I was reading an article that it was five years since the London riots. So this is more... <laughs> Good. Pretty Topical. Morbid. Um, so we were moaning that we've only had two home fixtures in the last 12 seasons. On the opening day. On the opening day. Mm -hmm. It, we would have had a home fixture against Everton in 2011, but it was cancelled because of the riots. Wow. So there's a fact. I'd forgotten about that. And uh, that's then we why. Ended up playing it in January. That's why opposition fans chant, you burnt your own town. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. So okay. that's, that's a sad one, but this is uh, a better one. Two hat tricks have been scored against Everton. Um, one was Chris Armstrong in 1998. Chrissy Armstrong. And one it. was Robbie Keane in 2003. I remember the Robbie Keane one because uh, I think we came back in that game to win 4 3. It was like a, it was one of those kind of. Yeah, I think it was. One of one. those humdingers at the lane. Uh, that we'll miss next season when we're away from the lane, of course. OK, my pre match stat is this. Uh, of the games at Goodison Park, Everton have won 33. There have been 28 draws, and Spurs have won 18. Bl so if you're looking at that, you'd say Everton or the draw to be favourites. Yeah. But if, let's just say, if we were to get a win on the opening day away at Everton, that would be a fantastic start to the season. I think getting a good start to this season is, is imperative considering how it finished. Yeah, well, bear in mind, season. we didn't win in our first four games last <coughs> season and we didn't win in our last four games last Imagine season. Imagine if we had, though. Well, exactly. That's eight games in which we didn't get a victory. And if we can start pulling some of those draws into wins mm. and some of those defeats into draws, then, you know, who knows? I know everyone's talking about how all the managers have changed and, and people will do better. But trust me, this Premier League... You know, you look at the, just look at the fixtures. I looked at our first ten fixtures, and none of them are easy. You just look at the fixtures now, and you're like, these teams can beat you. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, imperative to get, get, get a great start. Okay, and the final part of today's match preview battle is where we predict the scores from the other games around us. So I'm going to go first. The matches we're predicting are Hull versus Leicester, Man City versus Sunderland, Bournemouth versus Man United, Arsenal versus Liverpool, and Chelsea versus West Ham. Have I missed out any teams there that you think might be there or thereabouts at the end of the season, or is that pretty uh, much it? No, that's, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so here are my predictions. I've gone Hull-Leicester, 0-2. Nil 2-0 two. Two nil to Leicester. I think they have basically got the easiest draw on the opening day. Hull have had the worst preseason in the history of Premier League teams. They haven't got a manager. Their owners are trying to sell up. They've got a, basically a threadbare squad. And their only chance, I think, is basically all the ex-Spurs players. Uh, uh, Michael Dawson, I think he's injured, unfortunately. Uh, Jake Livermore, Tom Huddleston doing something, but I can't see it. So 2-0 Leicester. Man City, Sunderland, a bit controversially, I've gone one all. Ooh. I think, I know it's Pep's first game and they've gone big in the transfer market, but I think David Moyes will love that as a first game. Nothing to lose. He'll set them up so defensively. He'll be working on their shape for about four weeks. Just every, you, if the ball's there, you stand there. Boring. The Man United fans and, uh, and players hate him because he was so boringly defensive. 
but it will work at Sunderland. And I fancy Jermaine Defoe, if he's playing, to score a goal and equaliser there. So that's why I've gone for one all. Bournemouth, Man United, I've gone 2-1 Man United. I think Bournemouth will get a goal, they'll play nicely, but Mourinho will get them grinding it out somewhere. Uh, Zlatan and Rooney, I would guess, would score, but that doesn't count to the points. Arsenal versus Liverpool, high scoring draw, two all, I think. Arsenal lacking centre backs, Liverpool good going forward, but Arsenal, I think, will get some goals as well. And finally for me, Chelsea versus West Ham. I've gone Chelsea 1, West Ham 0. Antonio Conte probably play a 3 5 2. First game. Slavin will try and keep it tight as well, but Chelsea, I think, will nick it. Maybe Diego Costa. So what have you gone for? So I've gone, you know, a bit risky with some of these. I think Hull are going to be really up for being their first season back in the Premier League okay. for a few seasons. Without a manager? Without a manager, yes. But then this is the thing, like, they're back in the Prem. All the fans will be willing them Bang on. Up for it. Yeah, they've not had the best pre-season, but I think it'll be one all. Okay, good. Uh, number two, Man City three, Sunderland one. Yeah. City a City. I think they're, they're at home. So I think, yeah, they're going to they're get a few goals. Point of fact about that. There are still tickets on general sale for that match. Oh, Pep's wow. first game, Pep Guardiola's first game, all those players and City cannot sell out their stadium. I think that says it all. <laughs> it does say it all. Joke. Anyway, uh, and I think the goal, agree with you, I think Jermaine Defoe's going to get himself a goal. Bournemouth 1, United 4. I can't see, you know, I genuinely think United are going to be a force this season. Jose, the Jose They've got Zlatan, they've got Jose. I think Rooney's going to come out of the shell that he seems to have been in the last few seasons. Mkhitaryan. Yeah, they've got a really good squad, and I genuinely think that they're, you know, they're on their way back to being who they used to be. I'm going to go for Arsenal one, Liverpool two. Like you say, they haven't got any centre backs, Arsenal. So that would be sweet. It would be nice to see them lose at home on the first lost game their of the season. Last two opening days as well, haven't they? Uh, Villa and West Ham when Peter Cech was Superman last year. I remember oh, yeah. that? That was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, and I and I think that Liverpool are going to get uh, bang a couple past them. And finally, Chelsea two, West Ham nil. Yeah. Conte's in. They're at home. I can't see West Ham getting. Time. I can't see West Ham getting a win out of this one. And hopefully that will put the pressure on West Ham going into their first ever Premier League game at the London Stadium, as paid for by you and I, the taxpayer, the following week. Okay, guys, that's been our match preview battle. Let us know in the comments below what your predictions are, what you think of our predictions, how you think Spurs will do tomorrow. Are you as nervous as I am? I'm heading up to Liverpool later on for the game. Make sure you check out our fan cams on YouTube tomorrow afternoon. We'll be getting them up as soon as we can after the game and also I'll be doing a live pre-match team news reaction video at 2 p.m. on YouTube so check that out as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you're not already. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Spurred on TV and most importantly get behind the boys tomorrow. Let's have a great start. Unlike last season's 1-0 loss at Old Trafford on the first day, let's go to Goodison, get a result and move onwards and upwards. Come on you Spurs. Come on you Spurs. Yeah, Spurs. Yeah. Come on. Talk about the top 10 summer signings oh, yeah, summer. of all time in the Premier League era. 